Kelly is at her wit's end. Oh dear, whatever am I to do? Oh, she's a kid. Hmm? Forgive me, I didn't see you there. You have come seeking treatment, I presume? I'm afraid we're not taking in any new patients at the moment. No, no, I am. Hmm? You're not ailing, you say? I'm sorry, I simply assumed. I simply assumed. This is an infirmary, you see. Or rather, I should say it used to be. My father my father ran it, you see, but he he is no longer with us. Ah. Devoured by a sin eater at the Battle of Holmin Storswich. Or so I was told. I I did not even have the chance to say goodbye. Aw. Oh. Damn. And so I'm alone in this world now. There's one man, a member of the garden, dear friend of my father's, who promised he would look after me if things came to the worst. But then he was transferred to a distant and dangerous post, and thus I am able to do to una I am unable to so much as share with him the unfortunate use. Hmm. You look like someone who can co hold his own in battle. Would you be so kind as to brave the road and convey my message to this man? Of course, I would compensate you well for your efforts. The man's name is Nilden, and God's willing he still serves the Rediscus round. Pray seek him out and tell him that Colfus lives no longer. It pains me to ask a stranger to be the bearer of such grim news, but it would mean everything to me. The road is long and fraught with danger. I would not get very far on my own. I can force you to do this, but can you find it in your heart to help me? I could just fly all over, don't worry. Thank you, my friend. I have no words to express my gratitude. My name is Kalia. Might I ask yours? <laughs> gentle name indeed. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> totally gentle. Thank you, Sidapra. And be easy. Oh, thank you. What are you doing here, bud? Oh. Despite their architectural prowess, I can make neither head nor tail of anything in this place. You would think that remnants of the church would be more conspicuous. Okay, what? It's up with you, ungainly guardsman. The ungainly guardsman's made a fine mess of things. Oh shit. What now? What's a dran? Oh, curse my clumsy feet. I've really done it this time. I was on my way back from an assignment in weathering when, would you believe it? I slip, slipped and fell, sending the sack I was carrying flying out of my hand and high into the heavens. Whoop. Jesus Christ, man. And as if that wasn't bad enough, a massive beast from out of nowhere snatched up my precious belongings in its jaws and carried them off to the gods. No oh my, for fuck's sake. Suffice to say that if I return empty handed, my commanding officer is like us not, it's like us not to put me on privy cleaning duty for a week. You must help me, friend. I mean, you did it to yourself, but... Okay, I'll help you. Joe and Rick. Joe and Rick. Joe and Rick. Is that it? Is that wit's end? Okay. Oh, good traveler. Thank the gods you're here. You simply must help deliver us from our unending nightmare. I speak, of course, of those gods damn gremlins who keep sneaking into the file the graves behind our fort. Time and again, I have I and my fellow guards chased them away, only to see them come back in hordes, cackling and snickering all the way. As if that were bad enough, they continuously berate us with an array of vulgar aspersions that, rather surprisingly given their limited intellect, more often than not hit painfully close to home. Jesus. Even with Unga Boonga, you still got roasted, boyo. Why, it's gotten so bad that I, uh, one of a man, <laughs> was definitely not me, spending the, spent the night crying to his pillow after the oh, oh, you got roasted by gremlins, but I can tell you're not the one to let the words wound you, am I right? Of course I am, <clears throat> so I beg you, go forth to the graveyard, be the gremlin, smi gremlin smiting hero we need. Dude, <laughs> you got critical hit, emotional damage. High strong historian. Build platinum bream. Fools! Fools the lot of them. How can they fall to comprehend the profound significance of my fieldwork? Have I truly no recourse but to put my life in mortal danger in pursuit of knowledge? Oh well, oh well wish me. Oh hello there. Forgive me if I seem a bit flustered. I am a scholar specializing in historical historical architecture. I have a mind to pay a visit at Laxon Loft, that I might assess the full extent of the damage it sustained in the recent stand against the old Moran forces. I had assumed that a Crystarium guard would be escorting me there to ensure my safety, but they insist they cannot spare a single man for the task. Why, it is almost as if they believe my research to be less than of ut less than the utmost importance. Oh shit, well, you need a bodyguard? What's this? Not only have you set foot inside the castle, you've fought in the battle itself. 
Truly, fortune smiles upon me today. Would you be so kind as to accompany, accompany me to the eh, on my expedition? <laughs> you would, of course, be handsomely compensated for your services. My own, my own, my own. Splendid. Then let us be off. My researchers waited far too long already. Their own, my own, my own, my own.